Here's a fun game to play with your kids when teaching them sight words. Now, when our early education kiddos are learning to read, there are steps. First, they need to be able to identify all the letters. Then understand that all the letters make a sound. When they can manipulate those sounds and put them together, they can read CVC words or consonant vowel consonant words by easily just sounding them out. Sight words are a whole nother avenue. These are words that have to simply be memorized. Now, I'll start with one that I teach right away. All the kids know this is letter A. A can say A, ah, A can say AH, A can say UH, but A is also a word. It's the word UH, or it's the word A. It just depends on what part of the country you're from and how you're taught to read that word. So I teach them that this is the word A or A. Uh. It's also the letter A. So A has a lot of jobs, a word and a letter at the same time. It takes a lot of practice for them to understand the difference of that, but they'll get it. Now, when you have a word like the, all my students always try to sound it out, but when they do, it becomes quite humorous. T, ha, eh, or t, ha, e, Tahi? That's never going to work. So I teach them little songs for those sight words. For example, this one goes the, the, T-H-E, the. And they know over and over again, whenever they see T-H-E together, that is the word the. Sight word practice can be drill and kill. Flashcards, flashcards, over and over again. Memorize it, memorize it. Sight words, sight words. We use them all the time. We speak them, we read them, we write them. Now, here's a little game I play to help them to read those words over and over again. I have a simple dice. You can use any kind. My goodness, you could even use a rock and draw the dots on the rock. All they need to do is roll the dice and I have a form. On my form, there are columns. And then in each of those columns are sight words. Of course, you can change and manipulate this sheet to whichever sight words you're working on. Let's say the student rolls five. Side note, when they have something to play with, like a manipulative, it makes the game that much more fun. And it's throwing in a little bit of math. So we have five. They find the number five. They must read this whole row. So they put their pointer finger on and they read each word. What if they get a word wrong? then that's my turn as the teacher. I'm always watching. If they read the word wrong, I say my turn, I read it, your turn. They read it again, then they continue on. It's a fun way to have your kids practice reading every day, especially those tricky sight words that really don't make sense, but we've gotta learn them. Thank you.